Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a charity shop haul which isn't something I normally do because I don't usually pick up that much from charity shops so it's not worth filming a video but I've had a request, I think it was Kevin on my last car boot haul video said uh, about doing some charity shop haul videos so I will try my best now and in the future to try and do some more charity shop hauls. It's just that it's usually only a few items so it's not worth it but maybe I'll try and bundle like a few hauls together to make it a bit more worthwhile, I don't know. But I'll try my best to do more in the future. So here's what I've got today. It's quite media heavy. I don't normally pick up that this much media from charity shops, but I just found some half decent stuff today. So I picked it up. So I'll quickly go through and tell you what I pay for them and what I should be able to sell these items for. Again, margins aren't very much at all on some of this stuff, so bear that in mind. It's just nice to have a few more listings on my eBay shop because I don't have a lot compared to what I used to have on there at the moment. So, start with this. It's a baby rattle. I only got it because it was brand new. I wouldn't get it if it was second hand. It's like a sheep. It's from Keel Toys. I have researched it and it sells on the high end about £9.99. I uh, paid £2 for that, uh, but only because it was new. This puzzle is a Despicable Me 3D puzzle. Again, it's brand new. Puzzles are usually best to get if they're sealed because you don't know if all the pieces are there. Again, £2 and again, it's around £9.99 sale price, which is good. These prices are with postage, I should say. And next couple of CDs, this is 50p, it's a Forrest Gump CD soundtrack. I do like picking up soundtracks because most of the time they're worth a bit more than standard CD music albums. This is a 2CD Forrest Gump soundtrack. Uh, on the high end, should get about a fiver for that. Next, this was a complete punt. Um, I think I will lose money on this item. It's in a green case, which I thought was really unusual. Um, I bought it just because of the green case, really. Um, it's the deluxe version of Ed Sheeran's X album. Again, I thought it might be worth some money as it was in the original green case. I'm presuming it's not released in the green case anymore, if they even still produce the deluxe album. But this was £2, which was a bit expensive, but the charity shop this was in has a £3 minimum card policy and I don't have any cash on me so I, I sort of bought this because I had a DVD here that I really wanted uh, so that made up the three pounds so yeah this doesn't sell for that much maybe two or three pounds at the most uh, but the discs are mint there's no scratches on them so that will help it sell a bit better this is a Horrible Histories card game looks quite cool. So it was only 150 so I picked it up. It should go large letter, hopefully. Uh, this will sell for about 5 99 ish But yeah, that was quite good. This football Guess Who game, I've had this several times, probably like about three or four times now. And it's sold every time for around the £10 mark. I looked inside, it is complete, so I picked that up. It was £2.50. And next we get the DVDs. I won't go through each one individually. I'll just show you what I've got. So I've got Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. This was the one I wanted with the Ed Sheeran CD because it was sealed and it had the slip case. I thought that was quite good. These are all a pound each, I should say. I usually do quite well with James Bond DVDs. This is a two disc one. I always pick up the two disc ones, not the one disc ones. Um, unless they're the original one disc releases. They seem to still sell for some reason. But yeah, let's die another day. Sealed Marvel DVDs. Again, brilliant. I can either bundle them or sell them individually. I've already sold one of these before for £3, so I know I can sell that on its own. Next, there's Paddington 1 and 2 sealed for a pound, so I've got that. Another sealed one, Police Academy. Another sealed one, Sound of Music. And I always pick up Star Wars DVDs if I see them, just because I love Star Wars. <laughs> and they do sell, not for much. 
so they get a lot of profit out of them but I just like having them on my store. So we've got a Phantom Menace and an Empire Strikes Back. Then this is probably the best find of the day, 50p each. These are Acorn Media DVDs, as I've probably mentioned before. If you ever see any Acorn Media DVDs, they usually sell quite well. It's usually more obscure titles. This is an Italian detective series called Inspector Montalbano. I'm not percent if it's in English or if it's in Italian with subtitles. I will put it in the player just to check before I sell them. But I know it's an Italian series, I think. And it doesn't actually say, I can't see anywhere on here what language it is. Because it just says English subtitles, so I'm presuming it's in Italian. But it does sell. Um, I've got collections one to six. Some of the discs are in the wrong cases, but they're all there. I did check in the shop. 50p each, I was definitely snapping those up. Um, for the six collections, one to six, um, solds are about £25, so hopefully I'll be able to get that for them. So for £3 into 25 quid, that's actually very decent profit compared to some of this stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I picked up. So it's not that exciting, but I thought I'd do this charity shop haul because people are asking for them. And I'll try and do them again in the future. Again, hopefully there'll be a car boot haul on Sunday, but we'll just have to see what the weather does. It's very on and off raining at the moment. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel, see my future videos, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.